What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. I'm gonna call this a mega unboxing video because in this video we are gonna be unboxing all of these. This is one, two, three, four, five months worth of Loot Crate boxes. I would say that I'm unboxing these really late, but to be honest, they just shipped really late. It's probably a mixture of both. Like, they've been slowly shipping these out, but basically, starting from the top, this box is the August. So the last video I did was for 2019 July. Um, I have August, September, October, November, and December, which actually almost catches them up because it's it's now the beginning of February, so they're still behind for January, but that's not too bad because they were like six months behind before. I can't really see when this actually shipped out, um, but I just know that I got these boxes not that long ago. Like I've been slowly getting loot crates pretty often because they're trying to catch up. So here we go. We have five months worth of loot crate boxes. I'm gonna put those off to the side right there and let's go ahead and check it out we're gonna do this in chronological order so this is the August box so we're gonna do that one first I think I still have my loot crate subscription I did go and cancel some of the boxes I think I canceled the DX box and maybe the Star Trek box I don't really remember the Deadpool box I'm not quite sure but I did cancel a bunch of loot crate subscriptions all right here we go 2019 August once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. Now, I know the issue that they were having for a while is when whoever bought them out was giving boxes, we were getting a lot of duplicate items and that, yeah, just duplicate items that we've received before. I've had Loot Crate now for, for almost five years. So I sometimes don't even remember <laughs> things that we got in past crates because it's been a long time, but you guys always remember, so. I'll go with that. Oh, shirts last. Oh, well, the first item we have is a Power Rangers Dino Megazord. I don't think we've ever gotten that. That sounds exciting. I'm excited to open this up. Let's see what this looks like. I'm down for some Power Ranger items. That's a good way to win my heart, is Power Ranger items. I don't remember this, but this is super cool. This is like super cool. Is this thing called a Dinozord? Why did I think it was just called a Mega Megazord? So this is what he looks like, and it comes with the giant sword. Now, none of the parts move, so he's not movable, but this is a cool little collectible. I really like this because I was a Power Ranger fan. Now, this is not technically, it's not technically Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It's Sabin's Power Rangers, but it's basically the same thing, basically. Best Zord right there. Our saber, saber tooth tiger. Okay, uh, I love this. I'm a fan. <laughs> Literally, the best way to my heart is through Power Ranger items. There's like a handful of, of things that you can give me that I just feel like I will automatically like it. All right, the next item we have is a pin. It's this little pin, it's from She-Ra, and it's like of a unicorn something, a unicorn, uh, uh, what is it called when it, Pegasus or what is it called when they have wings Pegasus Pegasus I don't know I think Audrey was telling me something about that okay we gotta go faster because I got a lot going on here um, the next item we have are coasters and these are Star Trek coasters and these are all the same so it's a set of four of these coasters these are kind of like the cheaper coasters that you get at bars or that you see at bars they're kind of like the papery type material but it has the uh, USS Enterprise NCC-1701, and that's what it's meant to be off of. It's hard to see, sorry. So we got that as a pack of four coasters. Um, let's do our shirt really quick. I forgot we were doing five boxes, so I was going at like normal pace, but you definitely got to pick up the speed when you have five boxes. This is from Masters of the Universe. It's a medium, and it's kind of a gray color shirt. There's the design. I don't know anything about Masters of the Universe, so I don't know this shirt, but the shirt feels nice. A little bit on the thin side. It's on the verge of being thin, but not necessarily like because it's soft, it's just kind of thin, but it's not terrible. Um, we have this, I think what is meant to be a poster and probably our recap. Oh, no recap, just a poster. So this is a Jurassic World poster of, is this blue? I think this is a blue. So there's that. It's a neat little poster. Not too bad. It's a Loot Crate exclusive. Okay. 
So that's everything in this box. Um, should I try to price things out? Oh, God. You know what? I'm not going to price things out. I think it's going to be too difficult. You can see what we got and figure out. I think these boxes cost anywhere from like 25 to 20. 20 to 25 dollars I think I don't really remember it's been a long time I have a year-long subscription so it's a little bit cheaper um, my favorite item in this box is definitely the Megazord looking at the items nah, I don't think we got our value I don't think we hit our value I think it was if we did hit our value we just hit our value all right this is box number two this is from September 2019 September once you cut the tape and you open the box this is what you're gonna see Okay, first thing we have is this little, it's a little uh, backpack clip, and this is a Jughead plush clip from Riverdale. Ugh, another show I don't watch. I heard it was good though. Does anybody watch Riverdale? Is it good? This is a cool little backpack. This is one of the most intense backpack clips I've ever received. He's got like a fake leather jacket on, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, there's that. We have this little notebook. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is from Napoleon Dynamite. Okay, let's open this. Oh my gosh. It's meant to, oh, this is so cool. It's meant to look like a composition book, the composition book from Napoleon Dynamite. It's um, not thick like a composition book, but makes me want to dance. It says Napoleon Dynamite on there with tape, fake tape. And it says Preston High School composition book. So we just have, I'm assuming it's just, yeah, it's just a plain notebook, but that's cool. <gasps> you can never have too many notebooks, I say. And this is, this is college ruled paper, which I like, not wide ruled. I like college ruled better for some reason. Neat. Oh, we have a vote for Pedro pin. Okay, I like this box. I don't know what the themes are, but we have a little vote for a Pedro pin. That's from Napoleon Diamond as well. We have a pennant. Sunnydale. This is from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I've been actually slowly getting more Buffy items, and I feel like there's a few of you guys out there that are pretty hardcore Buffy fans, so whenever I eventually put all my boxes together, I'll have a few things that are Buffy-related, I think, that people will like. Um, I was not a Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan, but that's cool. A little pennant to represent, I'm assuming, Sunnydale High School. Okay, put that back in there. Um, we have a Gremlins, it's like an advertisement poster. So there's that. It did come with a QR code. I think they, instead of doing like the recap cards, they're doing QR code cards. So you can just scan that and go on their website, I assume, to see more information about the items. It saves them, although they had to give you this paper, so I don't know. I don't know if it saved them a lot of time. Last item from this box is our shirt. It's a yellow marble shirt. It looks like something regarding the X-Men. Their shirts seem to have decreased in quality. I'm not surprised by that, but this shirt's, again, soup. it's really thin, but not in a, like, it's meant to be a soft shirt kind of way. So this is property of Xavier School for the gifted youngster. So this is looks like it's it kind of looks like a PE shirt, but that's cool. I like that shirt. I don't wear a lot of yellow shirts, and it's kind of see through. I don't. You can see the logo through the back, which means that the shirt is somewhat see through. That I'm not a huge fan of. I think they could do a little bit better, but okay. I um. Ooh, I don't know if I can say with certainty that I like that box better than the first one. This Megazord is pretty legit for me. I really like that Megazord. I think it might continue, although the Napoleon Dynamite stuff that they gave is pretty sweet. I'm pretty excited about that. I won't lie. Um, well, let's see what the October crate looks like once you cut the tape and you open up the box. This is what you're gonna see. Okay, oh, what is this from? October, oh. So it's kind of probably like a Halloween theme thing. First one we have is our Dracula, a Dracula pencil sharpener, it says. Let's see what this looks like. Oh. So interesting. So we have Dracula, and then you put your pencil in there, and then you sharpen it, and then the shavings go back here. Oh, it comes with a free pencil. That's neat. 
And then there's also a, a base. It comes with a, oh no, it's not a base. It's a cover that you can use to cover them. I guess I can see if, uh, if Chris needs this. I think she uses pencils. I don't use pencils that you sharpen anymore. Like that just hasn't been a thing for a while for me. I usually use mechanical pencils, but okay. There's that. The next item we got is a Night of the Living Dead. It's a small reusable tote bag. This is a pretty small bag. Um, it's not something that you could necessarily go grocery shopping in. Maybe if you went to like BevMo, you want to put like two bottles in here. I think that would fit. So there's that bag. We have our pin. This is from Nosferatu. I don't know what that is. I've never even heard of that. But he's, it's the pin of just his head. They have his body like on the card, but it's just his head. It's just his head, that's kind of confusing. Okay. We got a couple, I guess these are just little prints from the Lost Boys. Sorry to bother you. A serious case of garlic breath. And then blood, it's what's for dinner. And then there's like fun facts on the back of each of these. I don't really know what these are supposed to be. Um, I guess just like little art print cards. I don't know. In all of these boxes, the, the prints that they've given us are kind of interesting, interesting options. Um, again, they didn't do a recap card. They just gave us the QR code. So let's do our shirt. Men's medium. Oh, it's a Marvel shirt. Oh, oh. So now we've gone back to like, now this shirt's really thick and stiff, but I guess it's better than the really thin and see-through, but it's not soft. I think once you wash it, it'll be better. I can't even read what this says. Does it say dead? Oh, it's dead. Oh, dead pool. Oh, I like this shirt. And then you have a little Deadpool who's basically using chalk to make all this. Okay, I like that shirt. I thought we were gonna get some weird, like, gory horror shirt based off the red that I saw, but. All right, I like that, that's cool, that's cool. I dig that, okay. Um, I didn't like that box as much. I still think, I don't know, between the bo first box and the second box. I really like both of those, okay. This is November, my birthday month box. Let's see what we got. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. Oh. Okay, the first one we have is this South Park Kid Robot figure. I am going to open this, even though I'm not a huge South Park fan. There's different rarities, and so I want to see if maybe we can get, like, the super rare one, which looks like, I think Buttface Kenny is the super, super rare one. Kyle's cousin Kyle. That one's kind of rare. Token is rare. All right. Um, I don't think we got Buttface Kenny. I think we got Craig. No, Cartman Beast. I think we got Cartman Beast, which is two out of 24. That's one of the common ones, one out of 12. Oh, I was right. Okay, this is actually kind of cool figure. So we got Cartman Beast. There you go. That's a neat figure. I I like that. Um, he's one of the, the really not rare ones though, but that's okay. It's like one out of 12. Okay, we have a pin. It says squad on it. So there's our loot pin right there. We have our print, which is a DC comic print. Let's see, you have Superman, Batman. Is that Wonder Woman? The Flash. Aquaman. I'm going to get a bunch of stuff right there. Um, we have a, oh, a bottle opener. This is G.I. Joe. I have been really unlucky with bottle openers. A lot of them have been too thick and they don't work, but this is a cool one. I wasn't a G.I. Joe fan, but I like useful items. Cobra enemy. So there's that. Another QR code if you want to scan the items. And then our shirt this month is another Marvel shirt. Oh, smart, I guess. Men's medium. It's green. Another thick, thick and stiff shirt, but <laughs> thick and stiff. <laughs> so this is Hydra, annual picnic and sports day in 2019, located at 
This is just stay hydrated. That's funny. Okay. So it's like a spin off of a Hydra annual picnic shirt. I don't know too much about Hydra. I don't wear a lot of green shirts. Honestly, I really just wear a lot of black shirts, if we're being honest. Let's just be honest. Okay, this is our last box. It's the December box. I still think the first and second boxes are definitely my favorite. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. Oh, I think this one's gonna give a run for the money. Okay, so the first item we have is awesome. This is a Groot Chia Pet and it comes with chia seeds. I've actually never had a chia pet before. Believe it or not, I just never got one when I was younger, but this is cool. This reminds me of the um, Bob Ross chia pet, just because I, once I saw that, I was like, oh, chia pets are so perfect for Bob Ross, like such a perfect thing. But that one's really cool. We got a Groot one, neat. I like that. All right, the next thing that we have is another print. I oh no, this is a sticker. It's a decal. Oh, it's like one of those family decals. Although I heard those are not good to put on your car because then people know how many like kids you have. But this is from Lost in Space. I actually watched this show on Netflix. Is this for the new Lost in Face Space? It looks like it. Um, I think I watched like half of the first season. I was show with my dad. It was cool. Not really my style of show. Um, but these are each of these people are their own decals that you can put on your car or your laptops, tablets, whatever. A lot of different options there. We have a pack of playing cards. I don't actually know what this is. Oh, this is from Die Hard. It says Nakatomi Plaza. So something from Die Hard from Japan. Deck of cards. Again, another useful product. Um, oh, I like this. This is my favorite pin out of all of them. This pin says, oh, actually, the Napoleon Diamond one's cool, but this is an ice cube with sunglasses that says chill. This is a cool pin. I feel like Maverick would really like this pin. And then our last item is our shirt, and we got another Marvel shirt. You know, I think that they couldn't go wrong just giving you a bunch of Marvel shirts, to be honest, but this is a navy blue shirt, men's medium. Oh, this shirt's not as thick and stiff as the others. It's a little bit softer. How's the design? Oh, you guys, I really like the Captain America snowman pop. So this is Bucky who built a Captain America snowman. That's a cool shirt. I like this shirt. This shirt is giving me some like old school, like one up box, super geek box vibes. I feel like those are like the types of shirts that they always made, like kind of the cartoony shirts, but this is a licensed Marvel shirt. So I like that. Okay. That was a really good box. So that's all the boxes we got. I would say that, oh, you guys, I think that that December box might have might have taken the lead for me. I like a majority of the items in this box. Um, I definitely like the first and second box. Really, the first box just because of of this figure. So I didn't really like the box. I just like this figure. And then I loved all the Napoleon Dynamite items in the second box. The other boxes were just kind of whatever. But yeah, I would definitely pick this box to be my favorite. Um, I'm not gonna rate all these boxes. I, well, the first box I would give like a 4.5 strictly because I like this. It's hard because I didn't do any pricing, so I don't really know. The second box, probably a 4.5 as well. The other boxes, like th three, maybe like 3.5. And then I would give this one, I would give this last box, I would give it, I'm gonna give it a, a five because I actually really like these items. And since it's the December box, it's not that late, which is good. So there you go. All right, guys, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you wanna see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below, which month was your favorite? What are your guys' thoughts? I don't think any of these items were duplicates. Uh, not that I remember, they all seemed new. So that's good, that's a plus. Um, but let me know what your favorite items were and what your favorite month was down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out is gonna go to Michael 
Salinger. Michael Salinger, you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. I appreciate all of your support and I want to give you the video shout out. So shout out to you, Michael Salinger. Shout out to you. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.